Instruments and damaged flying controls. This is actually a poignant flight for me. It's my last flight to Biggin Hill as a pilot based there. We're moving Oscar Romeo to Red Hill. Clear prop! Biggin Hill Airport has made it pretty clear that it doesn't really want light aviation there anymore, and we're moving before we're pushed. We'll come back to the flight in a minute, but while I taxi to the holding point, I'll share with you some more information about my upcoming flight to Bosnia and Croatia. This week I met up with instructor James Lee, who's organising the trip, to find out more about it. James Lee is a flying instructor based at Stapleford, and James specialises in our building trips for uh, people who have recently obtained their PPL, and he does trips around Europe and uh, around the UK. It's not uncommon for him to, I think this week you did a long trip all the way around the UK, something that perhaps, you know, relatively new PPLs would think is a major undertaking. Um, tell me how this Bosnia-Croatia trip came about and what, what, what made you want to do that? The main thing that got me thinking about it was, uh, I know a lot of people who've flown around Europe uh, to Spain and France, and I don't know anyone who's been down to Croatia. Uh, I don't know if it's a hangover from the war that was there, people have stayed away, uh, but it's a beautiful country. Uh, and I thought, why not? Let's go down to Croatia, and it would be nice to pop into Bosnia. And you've got a connection with this area, haven't you? Correct. Uh, I've got an ex, uh, a military background, and I served there during the uh, Yugoslav wars, the civil wars of the, the mid-90s. Uh, I did two tours there. Let's have a look at the route, uh, just take people sort of swiftly through it. We haven't gone through, or you haven't yet gone no. through the massive detail and this is all subject to change and of course the weather may prevent us from doing it at all but um, roughly what are you thinking? Okay the route, uh, so we depart England uh, and we head on a uh, south westerly track uh, down towards the corner of France with uh, where it joins Switzerland uh, to a place called Epinal, that's the first airport I've decided that we'd, we'd go into. Uh, quick fuel stop, bite to eat, and then it's going to be heading east right over the uh, north part of the Alps through southern Germany and into Austria, keeping north of the Alps, uh, where we need to find an airfield in that northern part of Austria for the night that's got fuel uh, and hotels. The next day, we will then head south uh, to Austria, straight into Slovenia and into the northern part of Croatia, uh, stopping hopefully at one of the airports down there called Pula. There's not a huge amount of airports in Croatia. There's enough, but there's, there's not a huge amount. From there on, we will just follow the Croatian coast straight down uh, the Dalmatian coast towards uh, Dubrovnik. Uh, where we'll spend the night in Dubrovnik. The next day will then be straight into Sarajevo. It's probably about a 40 minute flight from Dubrovnik to Sarajevo. Uh, hopefully we're going to get a day in Sarajevo to maybe have a bit of a city tour. I'm going to try and arrange that with our contact there, uh, have some lunch. And then from there we will head back up the coast towards Split or maybe Brach, one of the, one of the airfields there. We're still speaking to them. Uh, we might have some issues with opening time, so we, we may be going into Split where we'll spend the night. Uh, the, that will be the fourth day, we will then continue up the coast towards Pula, all the way around the Italian coast over Venice, straight across Italy towards the island of Elba, uh, which I believe is famous for Napoleon, I believe, <laughs> I think he lived there, somebody <laughs> told me. Uh, again, quick stop in Elba for fuel, bite to eat, and then straight across the sea uh, to stop at one of the airfields in the south of France, maybe Cannes Mandalou uh, is the next place, uh, where we'll spend the last night uh, before then continuing down the coast towards Marseille, before taking up a northerly track direct uh, back to the UK. What do you think are going to be the biggest challenges for this trip? The challenges mainly being the weather. 
uh, normally when I'd say we're in northern part of Europe down to the Alps we've picked May because I'm hoping it's going to be quite sunny but not too hot so the, the, the temperature is going to be down I'm hoping once we get down to the south of the Alps and Croatia that we're going to be cab okay most of the way uh, but we have got a lot of high ground uh, in Austria uh, when we go into Sarajevo that might be tricky uh, you know you've got peaks of 6,000 feet uh, and again when we come back around over Italy we've got some fairly high ground we need to be aware of and the challenges will be you know if we can't get to Sarajevo or across Italy we've got to think of a plan B. We're due to depart in the middle of May. Subscribe to my newsletter for updates. Now back to today's flight. Golf Oscar Romeo holding uh, Echo 1 ready for departure. Golf Oscar Romeo Roger after noise abatement left turn to the south east then uh, via holding point Echo 1 runway 22 clear for takeoff wind 23338 knots. After noise abatement left turn via Echo 1 runway 22 clear for takeoff Golf Oscar Romeo. OK, temperatures and pressures are in the green. Airspeed's uh, live now. After departure, it's a right turn to the northwest, runway 27, clear for takeoff, wind 2237 knots. Uh, clear take off and after departure right on to the northwest west board, so we'll Clear Final runway 22. Yes, Fazer, continue traffic departure runway 27, wind 21 degrees 7 knots. Golf Oscar Romeo, contact Gloucester approach 128 decimal 550, bye bye. 128550, Golf Oscar Romeo, goodbye. Gloucester approach, Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, Golf Approach, basic service, clock change on which starting. Basic service, welcome, Golf Oscar Romeo. South southeast. Request frequency change, Bryce Radar 124.275. There is 54 feet for Bryce. That's uh, Golf Bravo Hotel, Scorpio for Bryce. Golf Oscar Romeo, that policy is feet for Bryce. We'll go, Golf Oscar Romeo. Bye. So, what's our routing? Nigget. Bryce Radar, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo. Request basic service. Colin Bly's radar, Squawk 3716, pass your message. Squawk 3716, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, PA28, Gloucester to Biggin Hill, VFR. Overhead, Kemble, flight level 35, routing Nigget, request basic service. Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, uh, Roger, basic service, Black Q8 1017, confirm your altitude. Basic service 1017 at altitude 3600 feet, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, request your type. It's a PA28, Golf Oscar Romeo. So we're up and away. Got a helicopter up there, it's quite high. Golf Zulu Oscar traffic 12 o'clock, 6 miles, opposite direction, indicating 500 feet below. Yeah. Looking for that traffic, uh, So we want to activate leg from Morby to Nigget. Menu, activate leg. Yes. There we go. Golf Oscar Romeo, traffic right 2 o'clock, 3 miles, similar direction indicating 500 feet below climbing. Traffic not yet seen. Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Victor India, traffic north, 2 miles, tracking east, indicating 500 feet above. Golf Victor India, Bryce. Golf Victor India, go ahead, sorry. Golf 
Alpha to India, traffic north, two miles converging, indicating 400 feet above, descending. Uh, visual where is traffic, Golf to India. So, how is everyone doing? Do you know, I flew up here all the way without my noise cancelling headset on. <laughs> what a, what a plonker. Oh, we're just southeast of Swindon. So yes, I had a lovely time at uh, Gloucester. I had a nice couple of hours rest there, just watching the aeroplanes, having some coffee, having lunch. I had a couple of hours to kill because I'm meeting up with someone at Biggin Hill at five o'clock and didn't want to get back too early. Um, the hospitality at Gloucester is somewhat uh, more accommodating than it is at Biggin Hill. They don't tend to like us these days. OK, we're at uh, time to change fuel tanks. Um, how far to Nigget are we? 15 miles to Nigget. Fuel pump on. 15, 20. Over to the right tank. Pressure's holding. Pump off. Pressure's holding. Radar, Golf Bravo, Hotel, Oscar, Romeo, request basic service. Golf Bravo, Hotel, Oscar, Romeo, from the radar, passing message. Golf Bravo, Hotel, Oscar, Romeo, PA28, Gloucester, Two Biggin Hill, VFR. We are 10 miles northwest of Nigget, altitude 3,500 feet, 1017, request basic. Golf Oscar, Romeo, score 0435, basic service, from Richard H1017. Score 0435, 1017, basic service, Golf Oscar, Romeo. Oscar Romeo, are you looking to route via the Farmer overhead or to the east of Farmer? It's going to look uh, to route overhead, uh, altitude 3,200 feet, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, roger. So we're just putting on some carb heat. Well, so you hear the engine note change ever so slightly. Uh, the RPMs go down because of the warmer air coming into the engine. And I put that on to make sure that we're clearing any ice that builds up in the carburetor. So we're just uh, coming past Newbury Racecourse now. Well, Oscar Romeo, traffic. North east position, one mile converging, indicating same level. North east. Uh, we are visual for Golf Oscar thank you. Roger. Well done, Farnborough. Golf well, Oscar Romeo, Farnborough East, the uh, Farnborough overhead transit is approved. Overhead transit approved, Farnborough, Golf Oscar Romeo. Good on Farnborough because I'm not on the a traffic service, so they're not obliged to tell me anything. And that one was coming, sort of, was converging, which is probably the worst type of traffic you can get. Slightly behind me, same level. Golf Oscar Romeo, traffic east to position, three miles from Newbury, no high or tight. Traffic not yet seen, thank you. Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, you've got additional traffic northeast to position, tracking northwesterly, same level. And we're looking for that too. Golf Oscar Romeo. Eyes on stalks. Golf Oscar Romeo is requesting the danger area status for Delta 132. Golf Oscar Romeo, stand by, I'll double check, but I've got nothing, no time to be on normal, so stand by. I haven't got anything that would indicate that it's um, active above its standard level of 850 feet AMSL. Thanks for that, Golf Oscar Romeo. No problem. Yeah, so there's a little danger area that's active by NOTAM. Golf, Mike India, you'll be even leaving my serious area to the northwest shortly. Who's your next planned agency? Will it be Oxford or Bryce? Uh, we'll go to Bryce now. Golf, Mike India. 
Like India, we're just going to send a three call Bryce 124. We're going to want to descend today. once we're over uh, Farnborough. We have, uh, zero, one, one, nine, and zero, we don't want to get into the danger one, area. One, nine, there was nothing zero, on no tabs, but I tend to check if I can. So we can see Blackbush up ahead. We've got Farnborough over there. So they've given me an overhead transit, although technically it's class G airspace. This is something that Farnborough does quite a lot. It's a busy aerodrome and they uh, they like to keep it a known environment. So I told them I'd come across at 3,200. They've said that's approved. Okay, Ramu, will you commence descent to remain clear of control airspace shortly once you're clear of Blackbush? Just going to descend to altitude 2,300, uh, just past uh, Farnborough's overhead. I think that keeps me clear of control airspace. Golf Oscar Romeo 8. Golf Oscar Romeo 8, will do, thanks. Farnborough radar, Golf Mike Echo Romeo Lima, request frequency change to Ferrox information on 123.425. So the, Mike Echo, you know, they're checking. I mean, that's what they're there for, really, Lars. We need the frequency traffic. It's just to make sure miles converging towards Ockham, indicating that you're not do, you're not going to breach controlled airspace. They won't always keep an eye on you. But sometimes they can be quite helpful like that. As you know, I'd already calculated that I need to be below 2,500 feet, um, six miles east of um, Farnborough. As I close in on Biggin Hill for what will be my last landing there as a based pilot, I consider the reasons why we're moving to Red Hill. Um, we're under some pressure, I think, is the fairest way to, to say it, from uh, Biggin Hill, uh, who've seen an increase in their commercial jet traffic, and uh, they want to cut down the numbers of uh, light aircraft. Uh, they've uh, got rid of all the flying clubs, as you know. Golf Oscar Romeo is ready for descent, if that doesn't uh, cause you any problems in the 80s at that. Golf Oscar Romeo negative, how does that approved and 80s in transit approved? Transit approved, uh, descent approved, Golf Oscar Romeo. So we've checked on the status of the danger area down here. But the descent uh, could have put me in the 80s edge, you see, so. Now we're down at this lower level, we might pick up a bit of uh, turbulence. Um, that can happen, you see, at these lower levels with the heat coming off the ground and the wind stirring it up. So we've got 110. Go up to the whiskey, Roger, thanks. Well, there, we'll do it. 135, 65. Okay. Air temperature plus 11 one degrees, viewpoint minus 03 degrees. QNH 1017, Vector Pilot 3 back to QNH and report Victor received on first contact with Biggin approach on 129 decimal 4. Biggin Hill information Victor. 1520 hours weather. Runway new 21. Transition level 70. Surface wind 310 degrees, 07 knot, 280 varying 360 degrees. Cap OK. Air temperature plus 11 degrees, viewpoint minus 03. Nine at a small four in there. And now we're at six miles, which is the uh, boundary that we said, wasn't it, for uh, controlled airspace. So the shelf of controlled airspace suddenly comes down here. <laughs> uh, we have to be below it, which we are. So that's all good. So we just put in big in on the DME. The DME is distance measuring equipment. And it sends out a signal, it receives a signal back, and it can work out how far away you are from the transmitter. It's showing that we're 24 miles uh, from Biggin Hill. We just identify it by pressing uh, DME here. It's a horrible noise, but it will soon give me a... So 
So that signals uh, Big and Hill. And I'll just put Big and Hill, in fact it already is in there, in NAV 2. London VOR is out of service. Light to moderate icing reported in the vicinity of Lambourne at flight level 8-0. Acknowledge So everything's good, T's and P's are good. So we're all set up, radios are tuned and identified. Officer Romeo, what kind of approach are you looking to make to begin? It's a visual approach and I'm happy to change frequency now. Begin approach 129 and decimal 4, call for Officer Romeo. Officer Romeo, Roger, score 7000, thanks for your help and free call. Uh, begin, good day. Free call, begin, no problem, score 7000, call for Romeo, thank you. Begin approach, call Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo inbound. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, big and a very trashy message. Good afternoon, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo. Uh, we have Victor, QNH1017. We are 10 miles to the west. Uh, request, uh, request joining instructions. Oscar Romeo, remain clear of Kenley. Report with five miles to run. Expect to join downwind right hand, runway 21. QFE 998, Texas Oh, baby, this time. We'll be gone forever, never in a lifetime. Will you see us back here again? Golf Oscar Romeo, final 2 1 to land. Golf Oscar Romeo, runway 2 1, clear to land, surface wind 290 degrees, 5 knots. Clear to land 2 1, Golf Oscar Romeo. Fishes in the stream mm. And down the boulevard of broken dreams So we'll make a little change in pay oh. A minor shift of time and space Oh baby, this time will be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too this is The Flying Reporter signing off from Biggin Hill. But stay tuned for more adventures coming soon. In my next video, I fly Red Hill to Ostend and entertain passengers in the Belgian terminal.